What's up, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a quick review, rundown, what the fuck we gonna call it, of uh, Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. <clears throat> right quick, if you guys are wondering why the video is like two days late and why I didn't do trending topics, um, just got done finishing all of my, well, like last week finished all my medication, like the uh, antibiotics and everything. <clears throat> I'm sorry, steroids. It's, it's actually steroid. But I finished all of that, and the after effect is I'm actually having to now cough up a lot of what is still sitting in there so I was having a bad spell for quite some time and I've, I'm still coughing now but it's calmed down and seeing as how I'm not reacting right now I'm gonna try to get this video out and now and now it's starting to creep up on me. I'm gonna try to get through this as quickly as I can because it ain't a lot of shit that happened it, feel, it felt like a filler episode to me with just some big shit so uh, Max is willing to forgive and forget. He's just gonna let it go as long as he and uh, Brandy stay honest with each other. Gosh, dog. <coughs> okay, this might have been a mistake, but fuck it, we'll keep on going. <clears throat> Tierra Marie getting charged for a hello Uber incident. That shit was all up in the blogs and whatnot, so that's what the fuck it is. Don't really care. <clears throat> Rosa meets with the Michelin man at a fucking gym. Now we can see she working out. I'm looking like I'm looking like bruh bruh like you don't even look like you go to not gonna do that today. <clears throat> but they go and her whole thing was pretty much like not necessarily to apologize but to say you know what you were right and you know kind of you know kind of both coming at you the wrong way. His whole thing is just like <clears throat> I gotta be loyal, but I still gotta do my job. It is what the fuck it is. And she pretty much is like, well, I'm not fucking with Nikki no more. So now we at the what? You know what? I'm gonna skip the wedding reception because I wanna, I, I literally wanna talk about that <clears throat> together. I'm gonna skip Ray J and them because I wanna talk about it together. So, Brandis, who is Brandy and Max's uh, child, it's his birthday party. Max shows up, you know, and he pretty much is like, I'm gonna come home. <clears throat> Personally, I don't think like I think he made her wait long enough, maybe probably too long. But the way he came back, it was almost like he it, he just didn't do it for me. Just like okay, I'm coming home. Like that's it, that's it. But hopefully she learns a lesson. I don't fucking know. <clears throat> and before any female get in the comments like he wrong, he this. For women, when we go through our when we do our shit, do y'all just let shit go or do y'all let that shit linger? think about that <clears throat> anyway so now you got Nikki's event uh, if y'all remember she and uh, Rosa did a photo shoot a while back so now it's actually like a, an event the launching of I think the lingerie line <clears throat> Nikki shows up by herself um, Rosa shows up with um, her uh, date who is Carter and I'm gonna just leave it at that because I don't know what Carter would like to be identified as, whether it be male or female, I don't know, so I'm not even going to do that. <clears throat> but arrives with Carter, and Nikki is trying to play it off to Tierra, and you know, uh, Sylvester Tweedy Mysteries, like, okay, it ain't that big of a deal. But she walked over there, pressed his hood, talking about some. It's supposed to be my upgrade, my appointment, and it's like, if you not that press, could have just easily been, hello, my name is Nikki. <clears throat> you know, da da da. And she that okay, and literally kept cute like, well, thank you so much for helping me. I know things were rocky, but I do, you know, just the simple shit. Especially because you in her store with your shit, you in her store, and she literally is going in. It's one of those where it's like, boo, you got her feelings, and you feeling some kind of way because she's in here with somebody. She's mad because okay, she moved on so fast, and it's one of those where you got caught up. It is what the fuck it is. Mm, so let's talk about Ray J and Princess. So Ray J. Uh, you know, it's taking Princess to see the little billboard. Not the little, it's a big billboard. See the billboard they has for Scooty Bikes with her and him on it. And she's mad talking about some, you know, I don't want to do shit she want to do because you don't do anything that I want to do. And um, <clears throat> with the, um, you know, it's just like, you didn't go to the cake tasting. This and she's like, well, you know what? There's not going to be any cake. We're just going to have gummy bears. And here's the thing. Look, I would just keep it 1,000. I'm pretty sure y'all already know right now. I'm petty as fuck. Okay, <clears throat> I'm petty as fuck. What you not finna do is, you, you not finna out petty me, and you not finna sit here and try me. So when she did that shit, had that been me, I would've been like, shit, that's cool. 
Mm, shit, we could have some motherfucking wings and things and shit. You know, have some lasagna and shit. You know, we can sit and have some motherfucking soul food and shit. We don't need no motherfucking cake. Fuck the damn cake. What the cake go call hell? No, put put this shit on the floor. Like that's me. It, you know what I'm saying? You, I wouldn't even fucking swear it. Man, fuck that shit. Man, fuck that shit. And you know she get mad. Dr uh, well, drive off in the motherfucking car while he on his scooty bike, whatever. And at the uh, actual scooty bike event, she shows up um, with someone who um, <clears throat> can come on, come on now. Who can officiate the wedding? Like, let's just do the wedding right there. So it was okay. I'm gonna call your bluff. Like, so how Ray should have pretty much called her bluff? She's now calling his. And he's just like, no, no, we're not gonna do it. Like, I'm gonna be in five thousand percent. They go up and say one thousand. Like, she, like I called. I don't know if y'all called. <clears throat> and I, it, again, I'm petty as fuck. I would have been like, you know what? Give me five hours. Let me go ahead and call Mama Sonya. I'm gonna go ahead and you know send her some money. She gonna go ahead. She gonna get her you know quaff and shit. Dig. Get a nice little dress or whatnot. I'm gonna call my sis. Get her ass away. We can do that shit right. Like my thing is this. <laughs> What you not gonna do is you not finna sit here and try to play me like that. And I would actually fucking do it. You wanna do it? Fuck, let's do it. Let's do this shit right the fuck now. Right the fuck now, let's do it. And actually, this ain't gonna be a short review. Cause actually, no, nah, I, I, I feel like saying some shit. I feel. Hold on. And before y'all sit here and go so ham on me, what I'm saying, first and foremost, y'all gotta understand, like I said, my faith is Judaism. So, and I plan to have a Jewish wedding. And with a Jewish wedding, they're not supposed to be. Theoretically, they're not supposed to be over the top. They're supposed to be real modest, even even with the rings. The rings are supposed to be just simple bands. Because one of those where when other people, other Jews who are less fortunate or don't have as much as you have, have a wedding, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be one of those where we're keeping up with the Jones type of thing. Now, you got somebody who got the money, and they just going to do it. Me, personally, I like shit simple. You know what I'm saying? And at the same exact time, why am I gonna, why am I going to sit here and spend money on a day and we don't have everything else settled. Now, if we already got a house that's paid for, if we already got cars paid for, if we ain't got no debt or whatnot, and I got money in the bank, shorty, what you think, in addition to what I'm gonna spend on the wedding, that's a totally different thing. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that, from what we understand, Ray is paying for this. They're not even having a traditional wedding where the fuck, you know what, let me not do that. Let me not do that. But that's what I'm getting at. And my whole thing is this, I mean, Ray J is telling the truth like ain't y'all supposed to do this shit like I'm doing my end of the bargain I'm paying for the shit and if I don't work we don't have this so if all she want is a fucking wedding y'all get what I'm trying to say let's move on to the bitch so now we got Lyrica and A1's uh, wedding reception housewarming so they decide they're going to use it as a way to tell their parents and they do, and it's mo and it's a one who drops the bomb. And even in the confessional, you have Lyrica Senior saying how I'm not really happy about you know them getting married, and I'm sorry, get, um, shacking up without you know being married. Well, they dropped the damn bomb. Now Pam is <clears throat> slightly in her feelings, but it's like you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna be happy for the ass. Lyrica Senior's over dramatic ass going. Now, first and foremost, I'm actually happy that they had glass. Um, I think those are what flutes, I believe. She dropped literally, and it's not that it dropped. You know how some like somebody shot and she just dropped. She just made like made sure that it dropped. It was over exaggerated. She wanted all the attention on her, and. Ain't one better than me. It would have just been one of those where you can excuse yourself. Like, I'm not finna sit here and say, like, I'm not finna do it. I'm not finna do it. And what you're not finna do is you're not finna come into my place while I lay my head where this supposed to be peace and serenity and bring the fuck shit. I don't give a fuck who you are. Even in relation to me, that's what you're not gonna do. But again, I'm a different kind of fucking character. It's probably why the fuck I'm still single. Maybe just maybe. But. You know, she's sitting here going off and, you know, she's trying to generalize, but she pretty much makes it clear that I'm upset because I wasn't considered. The reality is you're not getting married to him. And I, I understand she had two children. One is dead. So she only has one. And there's only one wedding. 
I mean, you should be looking, you should be happy that you know she is married. You have a lot of you know women, and they say no digs at anybody, but you have a lot of women that you know hell they have kids out of where like shagging up with a motherfucker and marriage never even fucking comes and for some of them that works for others they are with this dude hoping that they gonna get the happy ending that they never end up fucking getting but at the same exact time since she's very christian like don't doesn't the bible say a man shall marry you know they should cling together and leave and be on their own i'm paraphrasing but y'all know what i'm saying so I'm trying to figure out like what the fuck the problem is, and again it's one of those where it's not about you, and I would have I would have left it at that. Then the end of motherfucking show, lyric and scene just first of all, what the fuck is up with people leaving their motherfucking doors unlocked? I don't know what I'm saying. Fucking confused, like she just walks the fuck into their damn place, and I'm just like, the fuck? Okay, whatever. She comes to pick up her dogs and he wants to have a conversation. I would have been like, take your dogs. Hello. Get the fuck out of my house. I, I probably want to say that. Maybe. I don't know. But he wants to know, like, why you and your feelings, you know, they starting to, you know, go back and forth. And she really starting to get in her feelings and saying, you know, I believe you put her up to this. And then she was like, you probably initiated, which if I'm not mistaken, I think he did initiate it. Not sure. But she's trying to blame everything on him, going to fuck in, going ham, yelling, being belligerent in his motherfucking house. And he's trying to be like, you know what? And she's like, where's my dogs? Now he gonna say, I think Lyrica got him. Motherfucking lying, cause the dog, we see him take the dogs at the very end. I'm like, now nah, nah, that right there, I can you bogus for that shit. You bogus for that if those are really her dogs. But he gives her, you know, their picture of them kids on the wedding day and whatnot. He's like, you can have this. And she throws that the fuck down right then you would like it would have been get the fuck out of my house I don't, matter, I don't give a fuck what you want Lyrica will give you the dogs but you, what you're going to do get the fuck out of my house you're not finna be here destroying shit but he antagonized her like there's gonna be more pictures this and that and she asked like why are you taunting me but she's getting real uh, she's, well, she's still being belligerent and everything else he's like well, you know what you can do is you can excuse yourself and I'm and this one of those ways like I may not agree with some of the shit that A1 does, but I can see that he's very passive when dealing with maybe not his mom, well actually his mom and Lyric Senior, but I'm glad that you know he had a voice. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. And now that I've done this, I, I don't know if I'm gonna edit this video or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and watch everybody else's videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Pray for my health. I'll see y'all in the next video.